made his effing career and uh, he came all the way down from New Jersey just to land his trick. He's gonna land it right now. None of us ever set out to make anything. We were just a group of friends. We were just dingy kids with skateboards. Yeah. But that little connection of people being together is what exploded and affected the rest of the world. Filming again, Eli. In skateboarding, you had California, and in the East Coast, it was New York. We inhabited the spaces that mainstreamers didn't. They can't do that at the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? New York. It all started from that nightclub, Mars. They was playing all the freshest hip hop. Being a kid from the hood and picking up skateboarding, you just had to be thinking on some other shit. Work. We were like, hey man, we could use the rapping over the skateboarding. This VHS tape resonated so strongly with people. To see skate culture and hip hop culture like really find a synergy just made sense. It's the same expression, but two different presentations. If you're dope, you're dope. It don't matter if you're black, white, spotted, or dotted. It was like a puzzle that all came together. It didn't really matter where you came from. As long as you fit in that puzzle, you were good. Supreme opened, and it was like a place for everyone to go and hang out. They had the rap kids and the skate kids. People wanted to be part of that world. Brooklyn, my frauds. We could never have fathomed that. All these things that were like our little things became mainstream. Look how all of these people have flourished. It's damn near the birth of so many other things. All of that talent that came out of that came from a small, dedicated group of loving individuals. Shit wouldn't be that fly if it wasn't for that skater kid that you'd probably yell at right now.